This happened a few years ago while I was doing some shopping for my family at a supermarket. For quick context, I'm female, and I'm originally from Minnesota, but I moved to Kyoto, Japan with my husband, where we settled down and we had a family. This is important to mention because I stood out from all the locals. Not that I didn't mind the added attention. After all, everyone here in Japan is super sweet, and thus I'm the same way back to them. Now, something else I want to note is that I have just recently broke my arm, and thus I was wrapping a cast that had the names of my coworkers and my kids signed on it. Because, you know, that's the first thing you do when you get a cast. Anyways, I was doing our typical shopping for the week, and I had been in the vegetable section when a man approached me asking if I needed any assistance. As I had my back turned to him, I first thought I was hearing the voice of an employee. However, I soon notice it's just a fellow shopper. No, I'm okay. I think I can handle grabbing a couple of groceries all by myself. He kept on insisting, saying how a beautiful woman like myself shouldn't have to do groceries on her own. I thank him for the compliment, and again I tell him I was fine on my own. But my acknowledgement of his question was like an invitation for him to start asking me more questions. How did you break your arm? if you don't mind me asking. I give him a generic answer hoping he would leave me alone, but then he asks me if I was seeing anyone, which was then followed by asking me if I would like to get a drink with him. I ensure him I was happily married, and I wasn't interested. And this was enough to drive him insane. Why did you just look at me like you were interested, huh? You were giving me hints, now you're telling me it was all a lie? Let me get one thing straight. I had never met this man in my entire life. Not only that, I never even noticed him in the half hour I'd been shopping. Either way, I just begin walking away from him, but he keeps up pace, cursing at me, and calling me all these names. This grabs the attention of a couple of other shoppers who come to my defense. One man in particular who was way taller than this weirdo pretty much told him off. But that's not before a security guard noticed and escorted the man out of the store. Everyone who had been watching let out an audible cheer, happy that this creepy guy was out of our lives. But this was just the beginning of this nightmare. Fast forward approximately 20 or so minutes later to just a little past 8 p.m. and I'm walking by my vehicle, shopping cart in hand. All of a sudden, the creepy man from the store steps out from behind a couple of vehicles, and he says, So, are you happy that you made an embarrassment of me? All I wanted was a chance to take you out to dinner. Once again, I remind him I was happily married, as he begins to approach me, with my shopping cart being my only wall of defense. Without even getting another word out, he takes out a pocket knife and lunges at me, grabbing my good arm in the process. Let go. I already told you I'm not interested in going to dinner with you. Too late. I've already made up my mind. I'm taking you by force. Just so you get a picture. The parking lot is pretty empty, and the lighting is pretty horrendous. In those moments that felt like they went in slow motion, I thought of an excellent idea. Using my arm with the cast, I smack him with all of my might on the side of the head. This was enough to get him to let go. However, I can't even begin to describe how much it hurt when I connected with his noggin. Anyways, I book it and scream like a little girl, managing to get the attention of some shoppers who are exiting the supermarket. By the time I look into the parking lot, I can no longer see the man. This didn't stop me from getting the security guard and having him contact the Japanese authorities. Unfortunately, he was never caught, and to this day, his identity remains a mystery.